Hey guys, as always, welcome back to Kumasal Reviews. We've got one that I did anticipate in the form of King Guard Sky King. So, really big boy here. Let me get my ruler. When it comes to this mammoth thing, because I don't know if the scale really translates on camera, but up to the tip of the horns, it's about 11 and a half inches tall from what I'm gathering. So, cool stuff. As you can see, it's a beautiful piece to look at. Just the paint, the size, the detail, like, it's just, it's immaculate, the sculpt. But, unfortunately, if you're coming to this review and looking for something that's just going to confirm your want to purchase this piece, because I've done it, I've looked for reviews to hype me up to pull the trigger and this and that, I'm just telling you in advance, this isn't going to be it. I'm pretty disappointed with this project, or product. Just the joints, the option pieces and things like that, pretty much anything that's modular or movable on this thing is just loosey-goosey, not well done. The QC just is not tight for this one. And of course, I think part of it's subjective, but we'll look over this thing in depth and I'll let you guys see it for yourself. I think a lot of the things I'm going to go over are in fact objective, but again, just prefacing this, it's not really going to be the most positive review in the world, but I'm going to give you guys the scoop so that you guys can make the decision for yourselves. Let's get started. Now, sorry for any shakiness here. I'm holding the camera in my hand so I can really go over the accessories here. As you can see, it comes with a ton. A ton, a ton of stuff. Now, the majority of the parts you can see over here on the left hand side are going to be battle damage pieces. So you see like the charred look, all the weathering and stuff like that, holes throughout it. The other are their accessory pieces to make it kind of like the King Gallert's Mazinger, Great Mazinger, things like that, to where you can take off pieces and reveal the inner skeleton, as well as the individual um, jet parts and things like that. So, yeah, lots of accessories, and I'll go over my thoughts on those when we go over those. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a roundabout of this guy in, but I like to take a measurement again, just to make sure I'm on the same token. All right, so... I'm doing it for my view. I'm over on the side here. I'm getting about 11 and a quarter. I think I said 11 and a half last time. I'm not sure, but 11 and a quarter right there. And again, the detailing on this thing is absolutely fantastic. The paint apps, the panel lining, it is just good. In fact, let me go ahead and... See if I can't zoom in. Just to give you guys. A look there. I mean. Eh, it's beautiful. Okay. Before we get into the handling of the figure. And things like that. Articulation. We'll look at the LEDs. So there's one there. This piece is both friction and magnet. Holds really well. And then his powder just does not stay on for the life of me. And there's a switch right there as well. And really good bright LEDs too, and I realize I'm not focused here, so let's let's change that. Let's turn off the lights. The nice thing about actually having a photo room now is that I have complete control over the light in there. So nothing coming from inside or outside or anything like that. It's pretty neat. But good stuff. We'll leave them on for the time being. Really small LEDs. I don't remember what they are. They're in the instructions. Alright. So Shoulders, obviously. Wings on the powder. Front and back, but it can do a full 360. Now, these shoulder pieces, they do have a hinge there. You can see they move up and down. Now, because of the change out and stuff like that, they do unpeg. I'm not the biggest fan. They don't peg in very tight. And you saw that powder just fell off again. And it's kind of an awkward exact area that you have to peg it in on. But it's, 
It's not horrible. But, okay. Parallel. Alright, and you heard that click. The ratchets in this are pretty nice. Around. And then the shoulders do butterfly and go up and down. So there's like a ball inside of there too. Alright, so a little bit of further movement. Not a lot of up and down, but definitely decent butterfly back and forth. Now, the butterfly joint, that inside one, on my right side, or mine's right side, it's just loose in areas. So you see like it falls there and stuff like that. It's just... Where the other one has friction, this one kind of, it holds like in certain places, but not in between. So, not so much fun on that side. Inconsistent. But continuing to work with this, that's another thing. These don't peg in the best for me either. I kind of wish they were magnets. But the friction doesn't hold too bad. Just not as good as I think they should be. And you saw that just drop right there. Just making sure I'm still focused there. All right, so we went over the 360 on the bicep swivel a couple of times. Really good, tight friction there. Single jointed elbows. It's weird because it like ratchets a couple of times and then it goes further. But even like the friction part is really good, so. I'm with it. It's like a mixture of friction and ratchet. Not bad. All right, now waist, and these are another one. The magnets on this thing, just in general, are not very good. Um, I talked to some people that own some other King Arts products, and apparently, like the Mazinger, Great Mazinger stuff like that, same issues. Just they don't make really strong ratchets. Um, future models, this is not so. And I guess you'd have to own future model stuff to know that reference, but their magnets are very, very, very good. All right, so he does have some waist swivel there. A little bit loose, but still holds, so can't complain too much. Full 360 waist swivel. Okay, and before we go farther, I completely forgot to do the upper body. Like, played with the head and forgot about it. So there's a ball joint where the head meets the neck, and then where the neck meets the clavicle. So... Good amount of up and down. And for whatever reason, my lights are flickering there. Never realized that before, like, as I move the head. So. I have no idea what's going on with that. Something else ridiculous about this tour. So. And that's on me. I'm not going to pretend like that's loose. That actually holds really well. Um, but independent, swivel. And the neck, it's the same on all, all sides. So if the neck starts to get turned around, it's no worry. There's not like a front of the neck, back of the neck, anything like that. So, yeah. And then, back and forth. So, good amount of up and down because you have two really good ball joints there. Good spacing between the parts and the where they meet or whatever because sometimes if it's too deep where the neck sets it won't be able to like look up or look down things like that so yeah and then these can adjust too all right so we went over the waist now we'll go over the hips good outward kind of a natural drop down all right so you see that up and down okay so it does have drop hips which is a good thing and it's neat to see him kind of work for the outward uh, hip swing. That's cool. All right. Keep him dropped just because the, the crotch plates are and stuff like that do not move. But there we go. And then dropped really doesn't go much further because of the big face there, the dragon. Okay. Back swing. And that's what the hip dropped. And those just don't stay on well. I hate it. All right, knee joint, single joint, but it goes back to 90 degrees. A toy like this, it's not something that's made for any kind of just insane articulation, so I'm actually not gonna knock that. It's just little stuff like parts staying on and this and that, that it's frustrating. 
because again, four hundred dollars. It's like it's got a lot of little plastic shell pieces to change to a battle damage mode, but I'd rather have paid two hundred dollars for this and then two hundred dollars for a battle damage version, so I could pick and choose whichever one I liked, rather than four hundred dollars with a bad toy and like the excuse of having a lot of accessories. And it's like these pieces aren't very like thick plastic and stuff. Now when it comes to the ankles, the ankles are great. And it's got those moving pistons and stuff like that. It's really cool. Make sure you guys can see them. And back and forth, side to side, and that just doesn't stay on for the life of me. All right, but it's good. All right. And that was me pulling it out, so. In general, it does not fall out. Clips back in really easy. And yeah, let's go ahead and we will. And you have the options here of either the energized look or the, these are the weapons. So they're not option parts, my bad. Let's change out the hands. Okay, let's just pop off ball joints. Did the bob joint pop out with this hand? It sure did. Now I'm not gonna knock the toy for that. That's just something that happens. Inside here. Pop it inside there. Simple fix. And they're nice big ball joints too. And yeah. So the wrist, they're swivel all around, like it rocks each way. And then, the hands themselves are on ball joints too. Okay, and that's the pose, just looking at some of the weapons in hand. Get this reattached, it's such a son of a biscuit. And the hands don't really hold these very well. Just could be better. It's stupid stuff like that, you know? But there we go. Good walking pose. I just want to take a look at his arm options real quick. Big old drills in. And this keeps coming out. Don't know why. I mean, there's not crazy much. The arm movement stays the same. I just wanted to get them into a cool pose with them. I think that works. What do you guys think? Okay, so now we're going to start stripping this guy down. Basically, what you can do with him is, as you saw, the comes with the battle damaged armor. But it's pretty cool. It comes with, like, the exoskeleton parts and stuff like that. And... It's really neat. Put those pieces. And it's always a coolest feature to have. You know, even though I don't believe this piece is really well made it's nice when you can like do the exoskeleton thing and stuff like that without any kind of hampering on the articulation you know it's a cool gimmick to have I wish more bots had it okay. and that Powder is going to be the death of me, so can only complain about it so many times. But as you guys see, it just doesn't stay on well. It's supposed to be held on by friction. I'm surprised there 
aren't any magnets or anything like that built into this, but there aren't, so I guess it's what it is. whole thing lifts out. I forgot about that. And you could even take these side pieces off. As well as the front of the dragon face. It's almost like, I swear, pieces stay on not good enough or too well. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to do this part off camera. And it wasn't anything crazy, there were just pegs on each side and you gotta make sure to unpeg those, but this is ready to slide back in. completely forgot about the other side of the arms. Aha. Trying to keep all of that together. Alright, so he's pretty naked there. Now what you can also do, I'm going to pull this part out. You can change out the heads too, it's just easiest if you have it out. So he comes with two options. One option is an alternate head sculpt where the horns have magnetized armor. Now it comes with the option of either this battle damage armor that you see here, or it comes with clean pieces as well. I'm not going to put the clean pieces on because basically it ends up looking just like the regular head. So there's no point to that, right? And it also comes with each of these, comes with alternate faces that you can put on it. Now, um, it has both a battle damage face as well as a regular face. And we'll take a look at the battle damage face when we put all of this together. Now, oh, almost forgot. This part has like magnet holes in it and stuff like that. If you want just a clean skeletal head, you've got that. They come with that option too. So we'll actually go ahead and put this guy on. We do so by, gotta pop that part off. Now it's hard because this pegs in and out, but you can do that. And then to bring it back up, you just press that, all right? So what I'm gonna do is focus back a bit. can see naked guy king I keep forgetting that this guy has options on top of options so just like his regular hands let me see if I can actually get this off yay he has skeletal fist as well as skeletal open hands so, give you guys a look at those. For the sake of this, since we're not doing any action poses or anything like that.
ahead, raise the camera up some, and I'll give you guys a roundabout. But really cool detailing throughout. Jeez, this guy just has armor on top of armor on top of armor. So, you know what? After the side piece, if I've forgotten a piece or two, my bad. But I think I got it now. Just really cool stuff. Like, it's neat. If the toy itself was better, man. This would be about my figure of the year. Because for all intents and purposes, I mean... Gimmicks, design, detailing, like... The thought is there, but just the execution is so weak. But alright, off camera, I'm going to go ahead and put on the battle damaged armor parts so you guys can see that. I don't feel like I need to do that on camera because you saw how it all comes off. It's going to go on the exact same way. Okay, and here's the battle damage mode. Pretty neat. I mean, it's it's something. Battle damage and stuff like that's not really my thing. Um, it does have those attachments for the back of the knee still, but they're so clean that I'm not too sold on. Insert them, but might as well show you guys how they look. And of course, I have no idea in this pile of mess what the other one is. Okay. And these don't hold on well for anything. They just fall out like crazy, and yeah. So one thing, the teeth here, I'm not even going to try. With the teeth here, they're actually covers that go over the regular teeth. One snaps in perfect, one is really loose. Reason being is it holds on via friction, and this one came with a chip around uh, this side, so it doesn't have that friction all the way through. I'll contact King Arts and see if they can do anything about a replacement, but outside of that, it freaking sucks. Yeah. But I mean, it, uh, that just sucks. Yeah, it doesn't hold on for much. Hanging on for dear life is what it's hanging on for. But yeah, like, both sides, the knees, they don't peg in as well as the regular ones. And the regular ones don't peg in well, so that should tell you something. Not really going to do a lot of posing with this. Now, one thing I will say with this guy um when i was putting on the head there's this little piece that pops out like you push it down that pops out and you push it back down to pop up the head like a reversal thing i pushed that thing down and that it shot up the head so hard that it just flew off and since this one has all these pieces that come off and stuff like that it just it was a million pieces i just spent the last 20 minutes finding these pieces everywhere and stuff. Hopefully I found them all, but yeah, that's something to watch out for. So when you're extending the head back up after you change them out, make sure to hold on to the head and make sure that it doesn't fly off everywhere. But just to kind of show you guys what it looks like, I mean, it's just, yeah. You can take the front of the face off too. You can take the parts of the neck off. I'm not doing all that. You can do that in the gallery what that's for but yeah pretty neat if you're into battle damage i mean it's well done enough it's not my thing i wouldn't have chose then for these parts to come with it but i mean for what it's worth they're okay i just wish that the magnets were better and whatnot that the friction was better that it didn't come with little qc issues like the tooth and yeah even like these pieces on the side here they don't stay on the best. But you can see there, I just like greased it in. Yeah, I'm not heavy handing this thing at all. It's just no bueno.
Okay, so let's take a look at the individual ships. Pretty simple stuff. It's always been a pull apart, put the arms up, put the head down kind of transformation. But it does it and it represents it well. Honestly, this isn't even to take a pot shot at it, but I kind of like the separate modes better than the full on Guy King just because there's no issues with like quality control or anything like that. They're just straightforward and look good. It lets the sculpts and things like that really shine. I mean, to me, this is immaculate. Okay, and final thoughts on this figure. I'm sure you guys saw this coming from what I talked about in the review, but I feel that it's an objectively poor piece. The sculpt is amazing. Like, the thought behind it and stuff like that, and even the fact that it comes with the option parts, it's a great idea on paper. Like, this big die-cast piece with ratchet and joints and this and that. You read about it, and it's like, it's freaking hype. That's why I freaking bought it. But in hand, the loose joints, the parts falling off everywhere, the little QC issues, like these falling off, the tooth having paint just chipped off of it out of the box or something like that. It's so weird. Um, just the shoulder, this one just being defunct, like it's a human that like knocked his shoulder out of place or something like that. It's just weird stuff. Even the LEDs or whatever flickering, they dim after two minutes of having them on. It's just, it's, it's odd. And this company's been around some time. I started collecting Super Robots in 2013, and I swear, like, it can't be that long. They started doing, like, the Iron Man figures and stuff like that. Not too long after I started collecting non-Transformer stuff. So it's been towards a decade that they've been doing this stuff, man. And I'm reading about their other figures having the exact same problems and stuff like that. You know, it's what it is. Personally, $400, this is a no-go. Couldn't in good faith recommend this person, or recommend this to my worst enemy. At $150, maybe. You know, just for what it is and what it does. Big die-cast piece. Mediocre built. Alright, cool. Personally, what I would have done is instead of just bad armor and things like that and parts f like falling off, just have three separate figures. A normal version, open face version that shows like all the skeletal pieces and stuff like that, and a battle damage version. Make them $200 a piece, have all the armor parts or whatever per like permanently on obviously these come off because they become like blades and whatnot you know the pieces that are modular that have to be modular keep them that way but like fuck my life i would much rather buy spend six hundred dollars and buy three separate really cool figures than spend four hundred dollars on a piece of junk which is what i feel this is um there are going to be people that say like oh it's much better than this version of Guy King from 1980, 1990. It happens all of the time. It may be the best Guy King to date, but it's still a bad toy. That just means the ones from the past are way worse. But the thing is, when a toy is 20, 30 years old, it should be worse. It shouldn't be something that you bring up as a comparison for the sake of coping with a bad toy. We as a community need to stop doing that. We need to stop propping up things and accept the fact that sometimes you know what you just plain bought, bought a dud i'm not gonna lie got this facebook group mecha maniacs we have a buying club we got these at 200 dollars a piece even at 200 dollars, i'm like man this thing sucks if it was 400 dollars, you wouldn't be watching this review because within 30 minutes of unboxing it i would have took the thing back now some people are gonna say that they like it and i hope they're being honest i admire you if you love this piece. I wish I did, but I don't. And I gotta be honest during these reviews. But anyway, this has been another Kumasawa review. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Let me know what you think of this guy in the comments. Did you buy it? Did you skip on it? What do you think?